up, y'all? Um, man, we got some good plans today. We got a lot of stuff to get done. I'm planning on putting up my new towel hanging racks and my new hand towel rack. I'm just like kind of redoing my bathroom, kind of working on it a little bit, you know? And so, yeah, I got that. And also later today, we have a family photo shoot that I'm doing. So it's gonna be nice. Probably I'll show y'all some of the pictures maybe, I don't know. But um, yeah, the rest of the video is pretty much probably just gonna be continuing the short film. Maybe I'll come on here and talk a little bit, but I hope y'all are enjoying. Please continue watching and thank you for watching. I appreciate it. See y'all. So a little up to here guys um <clears throat> so basically i've organized below my bed but i need to like deep clean under my bed and around my bed so i think i'm gonna do that really quick and then we have our photos coming up sometime soon so yeah Day, we got the photo shoot coming up in like 30 minutes and yeah, I'll probably get some recordings of that too. So. What is up? Um, uh, I just wanted to talk about like uh, what this video is pretty much and how my religion status is going. Obviously, as a Christian, I just want to let y'all know how I'm doing. So first, I'll start off with um, like what this video is. So basically, what this video is is like me showing y'all how I'm trying to better myself and how I'm trying to become a better person. And uh, I'm just trying to show you guys how I'm trying to succeed like what I'm doing in a day to try to be better than the person I was yesterday and uh, I really hope you guys are enjoying this video I tried I'm trying really hard like uh, I've been really taking a lot of time to edit this and make it actually enjoyable for you guys so I hope you guys are enjoying thank you for still watching this um, uh, well I just want and then I'll talk about my religion real quick yeah cuz I covered that pretty much so um, my religion right now, like, I just want to talk about my past and, like, how it's applied to my present and, like, stuff like that. But basically, like, for so, such a long time, for, like, I don't even know, like, six, six years, something like that, I always, like, said I was a Christian and, uh, 
you know, all that. I grew up in a church, but I don't really have like a relationship or real faith in the Lord. And recently, like probably like maybe a year, maybe like eight months from now, I have like really started to put faith in the Lord and for his, and his plans for me. I started to put faith that he has good plans for me. I started to trust and believe that. And um, I've also started to like, um, to have a relationship with Jesus, like actually building one. And um, it's been really nice. Like my life has really been turned around. Like I was, I was like kind of starting to become depressed living with my mom all the time. And I kind of started to like lose, um, lose myself, you know? And I, I didn't know where I was. And I like really like encountered the Lord. I remember I was at like a, Circuit Riders, there's like a Christian like youth thing that like goes around and stuff and uh, they came to our school and uh, at the Jesus Club they invited me and um, I went to it and it was like actually crazy like uh, one of our Jesus Club leaders, Jared, um, he like uh, while I was there he like told me that he was being called to like make me one of the leaders in Jesus Club. And at the time, I was like, me? What? Uh, I don't know about that. And then, like, I like thought about the fact that, like, that's Jesus putting that into his heart to tell me that. So that's not something I can like ignore or put off. Like, I need to take a step, uh, take a step in my faith, and really like, uh, really like take a big leap in my journey with Jesus and. So I did, I did become a Jesus Club leader and I did for like, I did Jesus Club for like a lot of the end of the year and it was really awesome. I like started, I did a message I believe, I helped with messages, uh, like tag teams and stuff and I also did, um, I also would pray in and pray out a lot of the time and it really helped me like get over my fear of like talking to people about my religion and stuff like that, it helped me open up and stuff and I'm really glad that I ever did that. Like. It was really bad at first, like my first message. <laughs> I was like, I kept repeating myself and I was geeking, but uh, I, I really started like to have a relationship with him. And after I did, like I encountered and I prayed over it, like all that like anxiety, all that like, all that like stage fright or whatever you want to call it, like that went away. Like it just like the words come out of my mouth now and it's not like anything. It's just like, I'm just talking to y'all about way Jesus Jesus is like speaking to me and stuff like I don't really have to worry about that anymore I just know he's gonna do good things and um I just like I want to talk to y'all like if y'all haven't like accepted Jesus or as your own savior or anything like that I invite you to do so because like it's really important to have faith in something especially because um I know I know Jesus is real I know he's real. Based off these things, it's undeniable factors. And it's not just me, it's so many people. It's so many people that have been have been so demonic and so so into worldly things and suddenly, in a snap of the fingers, they changed their ways and they accepted Jesus. Like you can't say that's like not real. How do you how would someone go from being a drug addict? Um uh, someone being like a, I don't even know, like it's, you know what, addict, and straight into being a devoted Christian. That's an undeniable factor. How would that ever happen? That's because they, people encounter Jesus and it's real. It's not talked about most in other, much in other religions because they don't encounter their religions, encounter God, and truly feel his presence. And like, I don't think y'all get it. Like, y'all need to like move out of these worldly things, out of this atheism, out of this other religions and stuff. Y'all gotta focus on the one true God, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And you guys gotta accept the fact that Jesus is God. And the fact you guys gotta accept the fact that um that y'all need to start reading the Bible. Yes, I'm talking to you Christians or atheists. Y'all gotta start reading the Bible. There's literally like 
this is like a storybook. It's so entertaining. Like that's why I started reading it so much recently. Like y'all get y'all gotta get in your war talk about that. And recently I've started to read my Bible more. I've started to do like highlighting. I got a Bible for my birthday and that was awesome. And yeah. Uh, I've just been working on my relationship with Jesus. You gotta put him as your first priority, nothing else before him. That's gonna be hard. Like, really devoting yourself and putting nothing before him. Yeah, that's like really hard to do, especially like your phone. Your phone can be something before Jesus, and you can't have that. Jesus has to be your number one priority. Oh, I could read the Bible, or I could go scroll on whatever. No. Your number one priority needs to be Jesus. It cannot be anything else, especially scrolling on your phone, wasting years of your life. All right, well, um, yeah, I just wanted to talk on that. Like, it's really important to me that you guys, like, really um, have, like, faith in Jesus and stuff like that and have a relationship with him. And, like, like you would with any other relationship, you gotta take steps towards that like by every day setting up times that you're going to direct like to do something with jesus pray sit go outside I don't, I don't know what it is go outside read your bible go outside pray and just thank thank god for every day and for every little thing because every little thing is a blessing like i started praying over every meal instead of just dinner and i it just feels right now like why, why, why do we Christians, most Christians, only pray over dinner? Dinner is another meal, but there's also other, every meal is a blessing. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, all the snacks, too. Those are all blessings, and in my opinion, you should be praying over them. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys are doing great. Just been, um, trying to focus on myself, you know, trying to focus on my relationship with the Lord, and, uh, just like trying to trying to really like uh, become the best version of myself I can be. I'm praying over that too. Like, Lord, help me to become the best person I can be. And um, I also started going to the gym like three months ago. Maybe it was more than that by now. Probably like more than that by now. I started going to the gym with my dad and my brother and my stepmom. We all started going to the gym. And uh, I do chest and triceps Monday, back and biceps Tuesday. Legs Wednesday, core and shoulders uh, Thursday, and then we do forearms with either legs or core and shoulders. And uh, yeah, it's really important also to have physical activity. Like it says in the Bible to be active a ton. Or I mean, it doesn't say a ton, but it says in the Bible to be active. By going to the gym, you're representing that you have like you want a better self for Jesus. You want to become a better, more healthy version of yourself for Jesus. And uh, I just like really enjoy it. It's like, kind of fun going to the gym stuff. Like I like it, I enjoy it. I mean, I don't enjoy it at the time. <laughs> Maybe it is painful, but it is enjoyable. Like I actually do like it. Especially like the progress and like the results. I just gotta um, pray over pray over it and not like let my ego get the best of me. You know? <sighs> well, hope y'all continue watching this video. Thank you for still being here. Like, it's crazy that y'all are still here. Thank you. I really do appreciate it. And I just, uh, I'm so grateful for you being on the other side of the screen. Thank you for watching. Like, I, I sincerely, I actually like appreciate it so much. I'm gonna pray for you guys real quick. Um, Dear Jesus, thank you for whoever's on the other side of the screen. I ask that you would um, guide them along their path with you, Jesus, that they would get to know you more than they ever have, Jesus, and I pray that you would be with them. Uh, protect them, and uh, I pray that you would just help them to uh, become the best version of themselves they can be, Jesus, and I just pray that you will, um, I pray you will continue to Bless them, Jesus. Give them so much blessings, and I just pray that you would just be with them, and uh, Jesus, just help them and uh, protect them, and just uh, help them to grow in their relationship with you, like really. And um, 
I love you so much, Jesus. Thank you for whoever is here. And um, I pray over them and thank you. I just, I love you so much, Jesus. Thank you for everything. Amen. That pretty much sums up what I wanted to talk about. So I hope y'all enjoy the rest of the video. Should be plenty more in this video. But thank you for watching still. Yeah. I'm sorry I keep saying that, but like, it's actually really important. And I really do appreciate it. Oh, see y'all boys. So we have church coming up in a couple hours, and uh, until then, I don't think I'm gonna go. I don't think I'm gonna go outside and do my Bible. I think I'm gonna read my Bible later today. I think we're just gonna talk and pray right here. I think that's gonna be it. Just talk and have a conversation with Jesus. You know. Me and my dad started putting up these bike hanging racks. We got two of them done. But they work the great so far. So I don't really record much today because I just wanted to enjoy my day. So yeah, that's why I wasn't recording much. And um, uh, I just wanted to talk to you guys about like, like just a couple things. Uh, first, I want to start out with talking to you guys about like your phones. Like, it's like an addiction. Like y'all try to deny it. I tried to deny it until like now. Especially like I've been realizing it's literally Satan. Like my phone addiction he's trying to distract me from growing my relationship with the Lord from me just going scroll 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 video 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 where is that leading me absolutely nowhere absolutely there's no benefit no benefit at all to it like it's just video 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 all for like hours I know and then you'll be like yeah my screen times six hours seven hours a day or more uh, and then you'll be like oh well that's kind of normal why are we normalizing that like seven hours four seven hours or more that's insane 
That's four to seven hours you could be spending reading the Bible, bettering yourself, doing something productive, getting stuff done, which you know there's things you need to get done. That's undeniable. You, 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 there's stuff you gotta get done. So you gotta stop scrolling over and over and over again and start facing the reality that that is the enemy, Satan, trying to attack you and distract you from going in a relationship with the Lord. And until you accept that, you're just gonna keep scrolling, 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 scrolling all day long. And eventually, hopefully, you will come to the conclusion and realize, what am I doing? I've wasted years, literal years of my life scrolling. Like, it's really, it's like, it's insane how much people just like try to deny that. They're like, well, I don't go on my phone as much as some people do. Why are you comparing yourself to other people? Like, you try to use other people to distract the fact that you're insanely addicted to your phone. Like, I'm trying to bring my phone time down to, like, where it's, like, barely any time of day. That means leaving my phone while I work out. Leaving my phone while I go on a walk. That means taking steps towards my faith by taking a step away from my phone and taking a step towards the Lord. That's what we gotta do. Like, I gotta be transparent with you guys. You gotta start doing that. Like, put away that phone. It's gonna be hard, trust me. I understand, but you gotta put away that phone. It's getting too bad. It's getting too bad. Well, um, yeah, I wanted to talk about that, and, um, and y'all really gotta get into your world. Like, the Bible is so important. Like, y'all really gotta make this a priority over your phone, over anything else. It is so important to be reading your Bible. Seriously, like, I can't even like begin to say like how impactful and how powerful this book is. This will change your life. This gives you instructions on how to live as a Christian, what decisions to make, how to like how to live a holy and Christian life. Um, it teaches the story of Jesus and his life, and like it really is like important to read your Bible. Make it a priority, like. I don't know when it is for you, but like make it a priority to read your Bible every night before day, bed, every morning, every evening, whatever you can, read your Bible. Like set specific times or whatever, I mean, it doesn't really matter, but just get like into a habit of reading your Bible, like seriously, like make it a priority before anything else to start getting into the Word because like, this book holds so much power. It is the word of God, and it is it will it will change your life. Like seriously, you want wisdom? You're seeking wisdom. Right here, right here. You're seeking a way out of like this distraction and this sinful life. The Bible, like, like y'all, please, please start reading the Bible. If you, if you already do, I'm proud of you. Keep going. Keep making steps in your faith and keep living that holy life. And also a part of that is like changing your actions, like how you speak to people, how you are to other people is really important. Like you gotta show the joy that Jesus has put in your heart. And if you don't have much joy, pray for it. Like seriously, Jesus can do anything. Jesus can seriously do anything. Like. Ask for joy, ask for God to put something in your heart. If you're seeking something, like you're not sure, you're confused, you're worrying, you gotta stop worrying and ask Jesus. Like seriously, like pray over it. Ask him like, Jesus, I need your help. I need guidance and I need some more understanding. And he will answer. And um, sometimes he won't answer actually. And that's for a good reason. And most importantly, if you are searching for a way out and you're needing, you're needing someone, let me tell you, Jesus is there. Jesus is real. And Jesus loves you and he wants the best for you. It's, it's going to be hard. And trust me, it is. It's going to be hard to accept him as your Lord and Savior and to devote your life 
It's gonna be hard not being normal, not being able to go out and party, not being able to be like everybody else. It is not gonna be easy to do that, and I'm not saying it is, but I'm saying you have to make that decision. You have to make that decision. Because if you don't, then you won't go to heaven, you won't have an afterlife, all of it goes down. Like, you need to decide to make the decision to give your life to Jesus. And let me tell you, you're, you're gonna have struggles, it's gonna be hard, but you just gotta put faith in Him, and He will provide. Like, let me tell you how good God, good God is, like, really. Like, once you devote your life as a Christian, your life will be changed forever. There will be joy put in you, with so much joy that you've never been filled with more joy. You will start to, like, actually experience real love and, like, actually encounter, like, a relationship that's, like, unlike any other. Like, it's a relationship where you can do something so terrible. Something so, so terrible. And you can walk up the next day, ask for forgiveness, and be forgiven. It is unlike any relationship. It is the best relationship. Like I'm saying earlier, it is not going to be easy, you guys. As a matter of fact, it's going to be hard. It's going to be hard not being normal. Really hard, actually. And uh, until you make that decision not to be normal, then your life won't be changed. You're, you won't be. You won't be. Um, actually find God until you accept the fact that I can't be normal, I can't be like the others, I can't be like other people doing all this stuff. I need to focus on my relationship with Jesus and I need to grow it every single day. Thank you guys for being here. I just, uh, I'm probably going to continue this video on for a while and uh, thank you guys for watching. See you. Day right here so um, in a couple hours we're gonna be going to the gym and we're gonna be hitting chest and triceps it's a little awkward recording in the gym I might get a couple recordings maybe but um yeah that's pretty much it and for the rest of the day I'm probably just gonna be chilling maybe I'm gonna go for a swim real quick and uh, see ya I just got done applying this new hand towel rack. Check it out. Pretty nice.
y'all. So basically, um, me and my dad, uh, like we got a ton of stuff done off camera and stuff. We got two more, two more of the bike hanging racks hanged up, and so that's good. And we're also planning on putting up my new towel hanging racks for my bathroom. And also later, maybe like in a month or in a couple of days, we're gonna paint my bathroom white. So it's gonna look a lot better than after that. And also we're gonna like just clean it up a little bit and um, probably gonna work on my counters probably at some point for my bathroom. But yeah, we've just been getting a lot of stuff done today, you know? And uh, that workout was great. I didn't record a lot of my workout, obviously, because it's kind of embarrassing and awkward to record in the gym. But it was great, great chest day. And um, wow, like, this was a great day today. We got a lot of stuff done. Um, I'm so blessed to be here. Thank you, Jesus, for giving me another day is what I, I, I pray over that every single day. I like also thank, thank God for every day. And also, I also want to talk about something like, I wanted to talk about like y'all's like friend groups and stuff. I like really like have been thinking about this a lot recently and uh, I wanted to talk about this so bad because like it's really important that you guys like hear what I'm about to say. Um, your friend, your friend groups change your life. Like who you surround yourself with, who you're with every day, who you're spending your time with can change who you are as a person. So you gotta like watch who you're hanging out with. When you're stepping into being a Christian, you really gotta like choose new friends. Choose wisely when you're choosing friends. Like choose friends that will help you grow your relationship with the Lord and not bring you away from Him. And like, I've actually been trying to do that recently. I've been taking steps away from certain friends and get it, trying to find new friends. And I, it's been working out, it's been going great. I've got a whole new community of people that have been helping me with my relationship with Jesus. And I encourage you to do the same. Uh, like, it's, it's like if you have, if you're, if you're solid with Christ, or you're, or if you're, um, like, kind of like a, like, considering not, like, you're kind of like so and so not sure about being a Christian. If you surround yourself with, with like people that are atheists or people that will bring you down about your religion, you probably won't stick to your religion, or you'll be like down, or you'll like be sad and stuff. If you surround yourself with people that will support you, help you to grow in your religion and really just be helpful and stuff like that, like what I've been trying to do, it'll really change the outcome of your relationship and stuff. And those are the friends you'll need. Like the friends that, at the end of the day, the friends that will help you grow your relationship with the Lord are the friends you need. You need those type of friends, trust me. It's like, it's really hard to like, um, it's really hard to like get rid of your old friend group like it's it was it was really hard for me to do that and I'm kind of still transitioning out of it but I'm leaving that old friend group and accepting the fact that they're not bringing me closer to Christ as a matter of fact they probably would be bringing me further away from Christ so I need to surround myself with people that are bringing me towards God and not away from him and I feel like y'all really got to make the decision to, to do this like changing your friends can change your out the outcome of a lot. Like it really does matter. It's who you're, who's supporting you and stuff, and who's encouraging you to do this and that. Have people that encourage you to do this and that. Be people that are of God and people that are with you. people that are Christian because they will help you out. They will encourage you to stick to your religion to do this and that. And it's really important to just make sure that you're being surrounded with people that will help your relationship and not destroy it. Well, um, I, I like, uh, and also, uh, this is an off the topic, but um, I've been practicing like drums and stuff a lot recently, and I'm working on like getting my patterns done, learning how to play songs and stuff. 
and I think I'm going to start a drum account soon for Instagram and maybe for YouTube. So um, be looking for that. I'll probably post something about that. So uh, yeah. And um, also encourage you guys to like um, really work on yourself and like try to like figure out like little things you can do each day to like um, help grow your relationship with Jesus. It's important to make that a priority. What can I do today that will make it so that my relationship was better with Jesus, with Jesus was better with Jesus than it was the day before? What does that mean? It means like it could be reading your Bible and praying, or it could be just talking to God. Like taking steps in your faith and doing actions to grow your relationship with the Lord is very powerful. And if you don't really make that decision, there can't be growth without you doing something about it. You gotta make the decision that I wanna grow this relationship with Jesus and I'm gonna do that by doing this. And if you don't grow your relationship with Jesus, you're just gonna stay the same. It's just gonna be the same. Same that as was well yesterday. It's really important to take steps in your faith in your walk with Jesus. And um, well, uh, I hope you guys are still enjoying this video. Like, uh, I, I've been really been editing and working my like butt off to get this video going, and it is not easy doing all this editing and all this work and all this stuff. It is not easy, and uh, I hope y'all are enjoying. Please, please like and subscribe. Like, I know it's cringy and it's cringy. It's uh, you know, to say that, but like, please, it really does help. I've been working so hard all this editing and all this stuff please just do just do the least and like and subscribe please like it, I really do appreciate it if y'all do well but that being said um I think we're just gonna wrap up the night and I might end this video today I might not I'm not sure but um thank you guys for still watching see ya